I've almost finished on this bathroom, but this week I want to put some walls around the shower and I also want to plumb in the basin. I need to put a mirror in there and that's about it. But hopefully by the end of the week, I'll have this thing finished. I've also spent very little on the materials. A lot of them I've got for free uh, and some of them I've paid just a small amount of money for. So I want to keep going in that same vein and hopefully I can get it done for a tiny budget. A lot of rain coming down. It feels really nice to be in here, protected and dry. It's cool. And I know that it doesn't leak. There's no leaks. We've got, we've got the bottom too, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to stick, stick the spanner on the top? Go for the one on the, the first one you get to Where there. Where are the other ones? It's just up in the metal, you'll feel it. I want to position this landscape this way, but this is seized up, I guess, so I haven't got enough, I can't sort of move that, so I just don't have the leverage, but I figure if I screw that into a bit of wood and put my foot on it, I might be able to move this a bit, we'll give it a go. So what do you reckon? I quite like it. It's nice to have a little bit of the bus in here and realistically it was never going to be used on the bus so might as well have it in here. It's also quite functional actually. You can kind of turn it and move it around and turn it into a full length mirror. So yeah, I think it works. I put a, a bit of oil on this and also I think there's probably water that had uh, gathered in, in behind the glass over the years. And I started, when I started moving it around I was just tipping dirty black filth <laughs> all over this basin and all over the bathroom which isn't great but at least I've got a basin now that works and uh, I can clean my hands of running water pretty exciting huh
I bought this the other day. I bought three sheets for five bucks each. That's like three bucks American. Pretty, uh, pretty good deal. It was obviously uh, used as a roof. I'm just gonna cut it down. I don't need all of this length and then put it in the shower. Make a nice wall in there. I got the first one in, that went really well. Um, this one's gonna be much harder because I need to cut holes in it for the shower. So I need to get the, the holes lined up and where I'm gonna cut them and how I'm gonna cut them and all that. So that's what I'm gonna do next. That'll be the tricky bit. <laughs> So I need to drill a hole in the corrugated iron exactly where this is, or pretty as close as I can get it. So I think I'll start with a test hole. I'm gonna drill a test hole in the corrugated iron and just see if I can line it up with that. And then I'll know I'm roughly there. And then I'll just open that hole out because it needs to be this big. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect though, because this is gonna, this will cover any mess, but I wanna get it as accurate as I can. wasn't too hard getting that hole in it's probably well it's this big so it's about an inch uh, but I need it a bit bigger the point of drilling in that is just so I can get the snips in and then hopefully I can just kind of cut around it to get it to this size it's not going to be beautiful but yeah it doesn't matter this this will cover it so um I think I'll be all right perfect This is starting to look okay, I'm quite happy with this. Um, this was a little tricky just getting the holes in the right place, but it wasn't, wasn't too bad really. This one should be easy because there's no holes to cut or anything like that. I've just got to bend it into the, into the shape of this corner. And uh, that will be the shower room about done.
Thanks so much for watching. I've put a playlist if you're interested to see the entire build. Hopefully I will see you next week.